Remember that? It just screams beer falling out the boat. Just that way, I can tell. Come on. Do anything to watch you fall out of the boat. I think this is more of a chill out island, swim out into the sea. Although I ain't got my GoPro, so that absolutely sucks. This would have been perfect for the GoPro, but I forgot my wire, so I can't use that. So Boo will just have to film me sposhing in the sea from a distance. What are we doing now? Get some to eat? Yeah, get some food. So, um, um, <coughs> paddle? I'm game for a paddle. See what's around. Move. Uh. Come on, stop stealing the limelight. Happy hour all day, I am game for that. This water is warm. First thoughts on the island. Beautiful water, beautiful island. Like, it's got everything you'd need, but the flipping, like, people. I was waiting about half an hour for like a, a sandwich, which then was wrong in the end anyway. And then we wanted to go get changed in the uh, toilet, and she charged us two dollars just to go in the toilet. So it was just like, hospitality is not its greatest, but that behind us. I suppose all you do now, there's not a lot that you can really do. You can go like for snorkeling trips and you can do like a trip around the island, but if this is all it is on this side, then it can't be any better on the other side. So, and snorkeling we're gonna save for Korong Salam. So, I think we're just gonna have a nice little chill day here. Splash around in the sea. This lovely lady just came over and asked for a picture. Okay, bye. Like literally I was just sat on the like beach bed. Mitch is in the sea and Mitch was like, boo behind you. And she was like, oh, hello, can I have a picture? So we just got a selfie together, bless her. Everyone just like wants to get pictures with you out here. It's really strange. Look at that gleam on her face, she thinks she's famous. <laughs> hey Beyonce! <laughs> oh, that is so Constantly being stared at, people are constantly just pointing at us, constantly waiting, and I just want this guy to hurry up. But he won't. We're contemplating getting a tuk tuk because we've just been sat here for about 20 minutes now. Hey? Yeah. Been off the boat about half an hour, we've just been waiting here. As soon as we can get back to our scooter, we can go, but at this rate. It's gonna be like six o'clock before we go, and then it's gonna be dark on the roads. Look at this, we're looking. That's it, we're 
Let's head home. Burn again. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Home at last. The chef who usually cooks us food at this hostel um, has got a day off today, so the owners are getting a takeaway on a Sunday. It's like being back home, no one can be asked to cook, so we're getting a takeaway. Uh, supposedly, it's kebab, so even better. So, what do we get? Chicken kebab. Yeah, chicken and then kebab, like, like in a wrap, and then this is like chips, chicken, mozzarella, onions, something else, but it tastes amazing. I think it's got like a garlic sauce on as well. So good. So, it's basically just chicken kebab in a wrap and cheesy chips, but like. 10 times better. Mm. How is it? So good. Better than back home, isn't it? <clears throat> Let me try this. <laughs> mm. So nice. Thank you. Wine and a beer. Finish it off. We're back at the room now. Tea was amazing. Um, I'm now going to put all my efforts into finding us somewhere to stay in Co Wrong for tomorrow night because we managed to get away there, but we haven't actually got anywhere to stay at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do. Mitch is editing yesterday's vlog. And that's it from us, I think. So happy Easter, everyone. Hope you've had a lovely bank holiday weekend. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. We're back at the room now. Do you <laughs>